Hello everyone, a follow-up video for you here on the strikes last night by the US and Britain against healthy targets in Yemen. First, I'm going to have a look at what was hit. Then, I'm going to have a look at some healthy twaddle, which will make a change from talking about Russian twaddle. So, first up, the targets. The first one we have is Abbas Airport, shown here. This was hit by paveway bombs launched by RAF typhoons taken off from Cyprus. Now, after we've gone through them all, I'm going to zoom out and show where all these are on one big map of Yemen. But first, let's go through them all. Next, Taiz Airport, shown here. This was reported by a news station. As the British Ministry of Defence didn't mention this one, this one was likely hit by Uncle Sam. Third, an encampment or base of some kind located in the hills just east of a town called Al Janad. This is said to be home to the Second Republican Guard Armoured Brigade. Fourth target, this place called Kalan Camp. I don't know what exactly Kalan Camp was used for, but Wikimapia shows it as being a healthy area as seen here. Next one, a small naval base or port directly west of the city of Jabana. Our sixth confirmed target is this, Sana Airport. This one was reported by Sky News Arabia. Number seven, this area west of Sana, again reported by Sky News, described as being a missile group brigade. Finally, something near Zabid was reported as being hit online, but I don't have anything more specific here as to where in Zabid or what was hit. Now, these are just a handful of the targets hit, pinpointed on this map here. Abbas Airport in blue, Taiz Airport in red, Al Janada in green, Kalan Camp in pink, the naval base in black, Sana Airport in yellow, the missile group in green, and Zabid in purple. There were more targets and sites hit too. I read a number saying 10 sites were hit, another one saying 16 sites, with a number of different targets at each site. Now let's check out some twaddle. So it seems that the Houthis in Yemen have started to take a page from Russia's big book of tactical bollocks to try and deflect from the spanking dished out by Uncle Sam and Britain. This claim beats anything Russia has actually claimed in the Ukraine war. They've claimed to have shot down an F-22. Now, leaving aside the fact there's zero reason for an air superiority fighter like the F-22 to be over Yemen itself, let's have a look at the evidence they've provided and the word evidence is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. So, this video here is the one showing the quote, F-22 shot down. As you can see, not only have we borrowed the Russian tactic of talking twaddle to claim a victory, we've also borrowed the Russian tactic of filming the proof with a 1990s camera. But clearly, not an F-22. The shape of a wreck isn't a match at all. This is a drone of some kind, and likely not from last night either. This was likely filmed a few weeks ago, I think. So, that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. Now, I'm going to play a video from Sanaf about the ongoing fundraiser for Ukraine. Thanks very much for watching, and take care, everybody. Okay. Uh... Hello Sukumimus community, I'm Sanith. Um, hopefully you've seen the earlier fundraisers that we've done and my relationship with Yuri and my connection to Ukraine. I'm here out in the east, I've been staying with the guys for a number of days. It is cold, the conditions are harsh, but our spirits are high. Um, with your continued support, we'll be able to get this over the line and keep this fight going. Thank you very much.